welcome to Daniel's Prayer Program. The Bible says in Proverbs 13:11, "Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow." For our first prayer item, let's pray for our people to have the wisdom and discipline in saving money. Let's all pray fervently and with joy. Heavenly Father, we Father, come we before come you Lord, Lord, in the mighty and powerful name Lord, of Jesus Christ. Pray, Lord, and we pray, O oh God, for our people to have, have the wisdom that they need and the discipline they need saving money and saving as a lifestyle, Lord God. Pray, Father, that as they say, little by little, it will grow and grow, God. Father, thank you for discipline. Thank you, God, for wisdom. Thank you, God, for the right prioritization of things. Lord, we pray, God, that they are prudent, God, but they do prudent, God, in expenses. Father, God, we pray they will be able to serve and save well. Lord, God, bless them, Father, in their work. Bless them, God, that they will have more money to save. They receive promotions as they receive salary increases, more opportunities to God to increase their income. Lord, God, we all need to give them praise, thank you for your money, that you are good, your love. Lord, God, God, we God, we give you praise. For God, we know that you're concerned about our future. As you said, God, in your word, with your plans for your people, give so them a hope and a future. Well, oh God, God, to learn to prioritize what to you discipline, God, to wisdom, God, to discipline, to lifestyle, Father, help us save money. Must be able to save for the future. Lord God, we give you praise. Lord God, we give you honor. We give you glory for we know it's your design but we are able to save and save well for the future. Lord, we trust in you. Trust in you, Lord, God, in our future. God, we thank you for disciplined lifestyle, disciplined way of life, God, when it comes to expenses, things we're buying and not buying. God Almighty, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor for you to serve it all, God. And we thank you for a great future bright future. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen. Psalm 28 verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him my heart trusts and I am held. Let's pray for our medical workers to be protected and sustained with strength. Let's lift our voices to the Lord. Father in heaven, we come before you. Lord God, we come before you. Lord, we pray for our workers, our medical workers, our doctors, our nurses, 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 our
they are a blessing, especially during these times, oh God. 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 Thank you just help the patients as they take care of them. Lord, you will heal the Lord, you are the one who will take care of our medical workers in the hours. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ever come here, they will keep them good. You will keep them good. You will keep them safe. Lord, you will give them new strength. God, you thank are you, Lord God, for your love and your kindness. God, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Name Jesus. Name we pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. And for our next prayer item, we are going to pray for more jobs and businesses to open despite pandemic season. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And Lord, even during this pandemic season, God, we pray for more jobs. Father, more positions, more hiring. So, God, and Lord, we pray for all the businesses as well to open. Lord, you are the God of opportunities. Father, I thank you, God. You are the one who gives your people the power, the power to get wealth, oh God. Lord, we thank you. Even during this time, Lord, you will find more jobs. More opportunities for your people, God. Even businesses, God. Let there be more business open, God. More investors coming on, God, to our nation. And thank you, God. Lord, as you open, God, opportunities, as you bring forth opportunities in our nation, oh God, for your people, Lord, you will prosper our land, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for more job opportunities, oh God. Lord, we thank you that you will promise that you will give your people the power, oh God, the power to get wealth in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, God, because Lord, more business and opportunities will be open. Thank you for you will give your people the guidance of wisdom and favor of God. Lord, they will land these jobs, oh God. Lord, you will be able to get uh, the right locations for their businesses. Right, God, oh God, the right kind of business, oh God, to market. Lord, thank you. Because, Lord, you are the one who's going to help. You are the one, oh God, who's going to open doors, oh God, of opportunities that no man can shut. Because, Lord, you are our God. In the Lord, even during this pandemic, you are our security. You are the stability of our times. Lord, thank you because there will be more jobs in Jesus' name. Lord, for your people, more opportunities to earn a God, profit of Father. And Lord, thank you. You will sustain them, God. You will take care of all their needs, God, according to the glorious riches. Lord, we thank you. Add the more jobs. Lord, we claim it in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the people, God, who be filled, oh God, with all the good things in your presence. Thank you, God, that you will cause me to visit to open to the church, God, to be God, even this pandemic season, because, Lord, you are our blessings for them. Lord, we are not dependent on any situation, God, but Lord, for the Father, we thank you, God, for blessing you, for all and giving them the power and the ability to produce a father. Lift up this opportunity to you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And for our next prayer item, let's pray for our friends and loved ones in the province and abroad to be saved and be part of a Go group. Let's all lift up our voices. Father, thank you so much. Father God, we thank you for all of it. We are here for all of men to be saved. God, thank you for your wonderful promise. Father, I pray God to help our friends. To an abroad, relatives here in the world. Neighbors, God. We used to be neighbors, God. We thank you for God. As we reach out to them, Lord God, the Spirit, they will open up their hearts, so God. It's great indeed they shall be saved. Father, help them. Lord, they will realize their need. Father, to do well, O God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You will work on their hearts. We glorify you and we honor you, God. In Jesus' name, God, they will be saved. Lord, as we share the gospel, as we share the good news of Jesus Christ, keep praying that the Holy Spirit would confirm your word with signs, wonders, miracles, healings, O God. 
Let us pray for wisdom and guidance for our government leaders in protecting and building our nation. Let us all pray. Lord, thank you so much for Father God. Father, we come to you, Lord. All of we honor you for you. You are good. We honor you, God. We thank you for our government leaders. Give them the wisdom that they need. To the guide us today in the making this decision. Building the nation. The cabinet members, God, the Congress, God, the IAT, God, the government, Father God, for we know that you will build this nation, we will flourish in this nation. God, we pray, Father. Bless God, every government leader, so God, from the president down to all the barangay officials. God, let them have a heart to serve you. Let them have a heart, Lord God, to build the nation. Lord God, let them have a heart to serve you. Lord God, let them have a heart to serve you. Lord God, let them have a heart to serve you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We would like to thank you for joining us in this time of fervent prayer. Daniel's prayer program airs at 5.45 in the morning, 11.45 near noon time, and at 8.45 in the evening from Mondays to Fridays. God bless you all.